Welcome to our demo of the free Build YouTube in React epic length tutorial series. My name is Jan Gobel and without further blah blah, let me just show you what the application can do. So here we are in our home feed um, where we can see the most popular videos on YouTube right now. So this is the section here at the top. And by the way, this is real data. So we're actually loading this from the YouTube server. And if you scroll down, you see more trending videos, but this time around they are grouped by category. So for example, film and animation or autos and vehicles. Once you hit the bottom of the page, the application will reach out to the server again, load more data and display it. So you have a really, really nice feed-like experience that most users are used to. If you want to know more about the trending videos, uh, you can just click on trending here on the left. And by the way, YouTube also has this functionality. So let's just click it. And here we see a list of all trending videos along with a description, or at least the first two lines of the description and some general information on the video. And again, you hit the bottom of the page. Well, we just load new data. What would an application be without searching functionality? So let's just search for some music videos here. Oh, wow, that was really fast. Um, we can scroll down and you already saw it. We just load new data once we reach the bottom of the page. Uh, let's just pick something, maybe this one. And this view should look surprisingly familiar. So you have the video at the center, the related videos on the right, some general information on the videos, such as the title and the amount of views, uh, details about the channel and the video info box with some links. Now you can also see the comments here. So yeah, the first few comments, if you scroll down, we just load more and more comments. So yeah, that's it pretty much for the demo of this application. And now you might wonder why you should even bother. Well, the thing is most tutorials just teach one thing, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that, but to build something really, really cool, to build something that you actually run in production and to build something that delights your users, you need to learn how to orchestrate all the different technologies out there to create some really cool application. Um, this thing here, like this application is built in React. So it's scaffolded with the create react app 2.x. It uses Redux for state management. And it also uses Redux Saga for fetching data from remote servers and Redux reselect to keep our components and our state clean. For testing, we use Jest and Enzyme and well, yeah, we have tests if that would have been your question. And apart from that, the layout is built in CSS Grid and Flexbox. We also use some uh, pre-made components from Semantic UI so that it looks a little bit nicer. So for example, like this uh, form over here. Now, if you can build something like this, front-end wise, you're able to build pretty much anything. And besides that, it'll look awfully good on the good old resume. So I think it's a great idea. Um, but I also have to say this thing is not a piece of cake. So um, the tutorial series is pretty long, but if you make it through, then you really know how to build stuff. And the best thing is uh, the tutorial series is 100% free. So in case you're interested, you can just head over to my website that is productioncorder.com. I'll also put the link uh, in the description below and there you'll find all the tutorials. So not all of them are released yet, but I'll release them step by step. And in these tutorials, 
I will explain every single line of code that we have in this application. So you will understand exactly why we build the application in a certain way and why we use this particular library or this particular technology. The entire code is also available on GitHub. So if you're not sure and you want to try it out on your own, you can just head over to the repository and um, clone it. Please don't forget to create a YouTube data API key. Otherwise you cannot see uh, yeah, the videos or you cannot load data from the YouTube server. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. So in case you want to send me some feedback or you found a bug, uh, please let me know. My Twitter handle is at production coder. You'll also see it on the right here. And I've also set up a mailing list. So in case you don't want to miss new content or you want to get a vote in what we'll build next here on this website, you can just enter your email there. And uh, yeah, every once in a while, I'll send an email along and maybe send around a poll or something. Yeah, that's it pretty much uh, for the demo. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I might upload new demos and new videos in the future. Thank you very much and uh, I hope to see a lot of you around.